Hi guys, uh, today what we're going to learn is we will see how we can uh, use our Upstocks platform to take our trades. Right? Uh, let's say for example, we're going to take Axis Bank. All right. Now, if you've seen my uh, weekly analysis video, which I posted on last Friday, there's this Gatli pattern which is forming in Axis Bank and I'm expecting it to start moving up. This is the complex pullback. So somewhere around 740, a spike and then price moves up. Now, assuming that we have, we for some reason we want to buy here, how do we go and take the trade on our Upstocks account? Okay, so we open our Upstocks account. Let's say we start with Axis Bank uh, Cash, the equity market, all right? So we come here. We look for access bank equity we add it all right now if you just click on this this is a chart that opens here this is our access bank chart on the this is a 15 minute time frame okay currently price is playing at 755 forming a bullish candle looks like we have already made a bottom might market might just start to, to go up from here okay so uh, we're not discussing technical in this video what we are seeing is how can we punch the trade all right since some of you had queries on this so we just click you can see buy and sell if you sell that would be only for intraday buy you can use for intraday or for delivery like you can also hold it on hold on to it so here we have a couple of options simple is just that we go here and we either buy at the market price or we specify a price so for example we want to buy at 749 okay uh, now we click on buy what happens is this is a confirmation window once you click on this there would be an order which is going to be placed so let's do this uh, we have specified 749 as a limit order all right order type is limit complexity simple and we do buy what happens is in our orders we see we have a, a status open and at 749 there's a limit order you can see this on your screen now if price falls to 749 we will get a buy of quantity one that means one share would be bought at 749 rupees all right no stop loss no targets just the buy uh, now let's say you want to change the limit instead of 749 you want to make it let's say 740 okay so we go to modify order and we make it 740 all right this needs to be delivery and we modify it see it says or the order was modified so you always get the notification over here of all the activities that you're doing right now we can see this was modified now let's say we don't want to take this trade we go ahead and click on cancel order are you sure you want to cancel yes your buy order was cancelled okay now there's no orders that we have in the market so again coming back to this now for example if you were to buy on the market you would just select market and you just click on the buy you will get the stock at the market price at whichever price somebody else is selling all right you don't specify now suppose you want to use a cover order which means that you also want to specify a stop loss along with your trade so here we use complexity as cover order order type we use limit because you want to also specify at what price you want to buy so let's say we want to buy at 740 and our stop loss you want to let's say keep it at 720 okay remember your stop loss has to be between this uh, range that you see here here okay now doing this will tell the broker that we are ready to buy one share of axis bank quantity one at the price of 740 but this is an intraday product so if this happens only today all right and our stop loss is 720 so what it would do is if price falls to 740 today it will take a buy and 
if the market reaches 720 we will exit okay so we go back to our cover order here we choose limit and with cover order you cannot change this to uh, um, delivery Right, cover orders are only for one day. The reason being the stop loss is only valid for today. So whenever you're taking cover orders, it's always going to be for the same day. If not, you can just take a normal order. Okay. And then let's say you you specify the price at which you want to buy. Okay. Um Now we have an open order at 740. All right. Now, if you want to um, put a stop loss to this order, how it works is when the order will open, it would show you in your positions. All right. So you always right click and click on square off. Okay. Uh, once you click on square off, you will have the option of SL market SLMKT this is SL market this is where you can put your stop loss okay I'm just showing you how it is done this is my option straight but I'm just showing you how this is possible all right for now we are just going to cancel this order again all right so that's how you can take your trade on uh, equities all right now we will see that there's another option called OCO what OCO basically does is here you are specifying your stop loss as well as your target and you can also specify a trailing stop loss. So let's say we do um, again OCO order is always intraday. All right. Only the simple order is the one which can go on for delivery. Rest all will be intraday. So here we specify the price at say 740. Okay. Stop loss we want to give it at say 720. It's a 20 rupee stop loss and our target is let's say 800 so it also shows you how much profit you're going to make with this quantity okay if you make the quantity to 10 Okay, so it's not changing with the quantity. It just tells you on one stock how much you make. Now, regular is your regular stop loss. You keep it trailing. Here you can specify the market will trail the stop loss at every one rupee. If you change this, it will trail it every 10 rupees. All right, so that's your trailing stop loss. Now, all of this can be done if you are doing the intraday trade using this option of OCO alright if you're doing delivery then you just need to go here and click on um, delivery and then you put your buy price that's if you want to buy at a specific price price if you want to buy the market price we just let it be market alright I hope that's clear how to find your um, enter your trade this is for the cash market for equities Okay, now let's assume you want to buy Axis Bank uh, or maybe sell Axis Bank futures. So the buttons, everything remains the same, only difference is we go here and then we look for Axis Bank futures. We have 25th July futures, 25th, 29th August futures. You can uh, add both to check. If you click on this, it would open up our chart. This is the 25th July chart. The futures chart which expires on 25th of July. Okay. And this is the futures chart which expires on 29th of August. There's not much of a difference in price, slightly, just about three rupees. So you can choose depending on for how long you would like to hold on to your uh, trade. 
So if you go into futures, you can see you have futures for July, August and September. So the maximum that you can choose now is until September. Okay, September we can see that uh, it is 765, right? So you can see the difference is more in terms of price, but you can also get to hold on for that much time. So for example, you want to take your buy position on Axis Bank futures. We go back to the same button. Everything else that we discussed remains same. Only thing here quantity will be in lot. So it also tells you the lot size. So if you were to buy one futures lot at the market price, with an option of uh, delivery which means we don't want to close it today these are the options we choose if you want to close it the same day we choose intraday if you want to give it a limit order you specify the price if you want to give the stop loss then we use a cover order where we also specify stop loss but it has to be intraday and if you want to use the target the stop loss and the trailing stop then we use a OCO order okay and this would be for a lot size of 1200 which means that if you were to take this trade at let's say we are looking at uh, buying Axis Bank futures at 756.75 okay suppose you buy at this level at 757 now since the lot size is 1200 when the market moves from 757 to 758 you will make a profit or loss of 1200 rupees depending on the direction in which you are trading all right I hope that's clear so the box the function everything remains the same whether you are buying or selling in futures or options or equities now we'll quickly take one more example where we will look at axis bank options okay so since i'm bullish i would like to take a call option so if you see current price 754 we have 750 and 760 so I would choose 750 because it's closest to the current price you have July future uh, July option we have July August September again all three right so you can see all three and then choose which one you want to take this is for uh, I'm sorry let me remove the other ones let's just keep only the options so the equity we have done looking at we remove this futures we are done okay now what you see is we have September we have August and we have July the July option for 750 CE is at a premium of 15 rupees right now okay so as the market goes up this premium will start to rise so we're not discussing technicals here just showing you how it would move so let's say you were to buy this we go back here again quantity is 1200 all right uh, we have same sim simple uh, cover order OC order AMO is aftermarket order which we use if you want to take a trade after the market has closed okay so you can specify a limit for the next day all right so going back to our uh, trade let's say we want to buy at a premium of say 40 um, let's say we would like to buy at a premium of say 13.550 right so we go back here we specify this as a limit order and we specify the price at 13.5 this is a delivery trade which means you have to close this before 25th of July and 1200 is the quantity okay which means that when the market comes at 13.5 we take our trade and from there every rupee that it moves if it moves from 13.5 to 14.5 you will have uh, 1200 rupee, rupees of profit or loss in this case profit all right so one rupee the premium moves into the lot size is what you'll be uh, making or losing now in terms of margin I have not discussed the margin for futures because different for different um, stocks but for 
cash you can you know the margin is exactly what the price is for futures how the margin calculation is lot size so in this case it is uh, 1200 multiplied by the premium okay that's the amount of margin so there is no um, leverage you, you are 1 is to 1 okay again if once you have a trade running these other orders SL market is to place your stop loss so let's say you already have a buy running this should be your sell sell uh, so this will be your stop loss for the buy so this should be on the sell and we should specify the trigger price right we'll get more used to this once you start to uh, take more trades right but I hope for now you already understood how you can punch in orders and how you can take trades when you have uh, just open your upstocks account and for f any further questions you always have this option where you can go into this place uh, you have the contact option you have the phone numbers here then you also have the option of going into chat support and you can post any queries that you have over here all right that's it for now anything else that you would like to know please share with us so we can uh, do something about it we can share another video on how to go about doing these things right it's very simple um, punching the trades are very very easy in these terminals all you have to do is just uh, be confident about your direction and everything else uh, works out right the thing that you have to remember is your stop loss is valid only for one day that's it as long as you keep that in mind other things are easy to uh, figure out and execute all right that's it for now see you guys in the next video and please share your comments about this video and any other information that you'd like to uh, us to share also looking forward to seeing you guys on the live trading session that we are going to have next week on tuesday wednesday and thursday evening 8 p.m you can visit our website for information regarding that all right that's it for now guys thank you so much Bye-bye.